Hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina and I am the Honest Vocal Coach. Right, Jade is singing her first singles live now, which is pretty awesome. I really love the Angel of My Dreams version that was the acoustic, more sort of live performance version, although it was pre-recorded. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be reacting to Jade's performance of Fantasy from Later with Jules Holland. I've decided to go for Fantasy because I haven't heard it yet. Now, I'm assuming it's going to be different to the um, current, the single uh, version, uh, but I'll check that out later on. So this is really to critique and review her vocals. Let's dive in. <laughs> She's got so much like, I don't know, her face just lights up. She's proper on it. She's proper enjoying herself, which is how it should be. There is a lot of stress in the music industry. Last week, we unfortunately lost Liam Payne, which is so very sad. And, you know, we have lots of issues with uh, young people, young stars being churned up and spat out of the music industry. And I think Little Mix were yet another one of those that was churned up and spit out. But she looks like she's really enjoying this era and that's how it should be. I've no idea what fantasy is about just yet, just so you know. Okay, straight away we've got a change in the microphone. Um, beautiful vocals to begin with, very airy, uh, lots of backing vocalists, lots of sass in the backing vocalists. And now we've got a more spoken element and there's definitely an effect on the microphone. Ooh, the sound one's got a right job on because the release your fear comes straight out of that uh, megaphone kind of effect. So they've got to quickly change it uh, into this one. So that it's a good sound guy or woman. No judgment here. It could be loopy, it could be kinky, it could be hot and that's okay. Again, the sound man's got a right job on. Again, sorry, sound woman, sound whoever, sound person. Nice head voice, a nice little bit of agility in there. It has like um, a vibe of September and earth, wind and fire and that kind of thing, especially with the glitter ball type of dress that she's wearing. There's a similarity into, I think, Jessie Ware's recent um, era. Big fan of Jessie Ware's music. <laughs> Still don't know what we're singing about. It's a fantasy. Oh, look at all the audience at the back. That's very cool. <laughs> She's so sassy. Yeah, that's so Ariana. Yeah. Uh, so it's about popping a box, opening Pandora's box and popping something. It's about fantasizing of something. Is it a rude fantasy? I'm still a bit confused by it, but I'm enjoying it either way. This is really good. I'm loving her vibe. She's got quite a charisma and she's holding her own i mean it's the pressure of being in a four to then three and knowing you've got those people there to always just sort of support you you know if you miss a line if you screw up or whatever they'll help you out of the poop 
although sometimes they won't it depends how well you get on um she's really holding her own and the last single from perry i thought was really the reaction for that is coming out this thursday copyright was a total pain in the butt so it's been moved to this thursday being girl band thursday so watch out for that i love that it's so disco that's really good it's proper right i'm gonna look this up now we're gonna go a bit eurovision style like i normally do we're gonna figure this out okay fantasy jade meaning explains the spicy ah oh, maybe i was right she explains the spicy meaning of the lyrics right so this is from capital uh, what are Jade's fantasy lyrics all about? Here's what she said about her disco-inspired second single. Definitely is. Okay, so... Uh, ever since Jade released a blah -de blah Jale did she release this and blah -de -de, And there was Midnight Cowboy, which was like a little middle song between the two. Right, in fantasy, Jade makes a lover feel comfortable enough to explore all their sexual desires with her oh in the first verse she sings whatever floats your boat i'll help you sail away what is your cup of tea i'll sip it and i'll add the sugar babe release your fear no judgment here it could be loopy it could be kinky it could be hot and that's okay wow jade you're making me blush here in the pre-chorus jade embraces her full disco diva I need to know what you've been dreaming of. I want to tell you all my secrets, bring out all my freakies. <laughs> oh, I want that. Then she adds passion, pain, pleasure, no shame. If you like it weird, I like it strange. It's a fantasy, babe. All right. <laughs> In a press release, Jade added, we wrote this the same day of Angel of My Dreams was written. And from then on, I always knew it was going to be the second single. I can't wait for my fans to experience my musical world. So it is rude. <laughs> which is kind of what i thought it was you know i thought it was fantasy of something uh, and we kind of all know who her, her guy is who her partner is uh so that makes you a bit like okay you know that awkward moment when you think about your parents and them it's a it's it's you know i'm not saying it's as awkward and as weird but it's still like all right okay we didn't need to know all the finer detail but if you want to tell us then okay it does sound very uh nile rogers the guitar sort of riff there definitely earth wind fantasy disco yeah <laughs> It's a fantasy. I need to know what you've been dreaming of. Ooh, we get a good belt now. I like this. This is fun. Nice poppy disco hit. It's great. Comparing it to the first single, quite different, I would say. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a, a link musically between the two that I'm feeling. Uh, it's quite different. Nice belt. Ooh. That's a tough one. It's early morning, not sung. Why do I always do my reactions first thing in the morning when I've not warmed up? Well, I quite like it. It's very fun. It's got like the disco vibe to it. Her vocals are pretty good. We've got head voice majority of the song and then a little bit of mixed belt now and again as well. But all in all, I really like it. I think it's a good track. So let me know what you think of Jade and her new era of music. Which ones do you like? Do you like the first single? What do you think of Midnight Cowboy, which I know I haven't reacted to? I maybe i should have done oh hello anyway thank you so much for watching oh and if you don't know i've got a vlog i've got a vlog watch me vlog links are below bye lads.